Hello, and welcome to this Flash game making tutorial. Um, although I should hesitate to call it a tutorial because it's still kind of new to me and I'm learning. Um, in this tutorial, I will primarily be using, uh, or I'll only be using, uh, ActionScript 3 and using a couple libraries uh, such as Flixel and Nape. Um, Flixel will be used for our graphics and some of its basic game engine things. Um, but uh, underneath uh, all of that, Nape, uh, which is a physics engine, will be making things move and propel across the screen and whatnot. Um, so here I have a project that I'm working on. Um, it's a space adventure exploration roguelike game, <laughs> uh, which is inspired by, I don't know if you guys have ever played Solar Jetman uh, back in the old 8-bit NES days. Um, it will be like that, um, except with maybe some more upgrades and uh, more adventure -y kind of things in it. Um, so right now I just have this basic um, ship <laughs> uh, flying around right now, um, but I hope to add a lot more in the future. Um, I can show you real quick what uh, Flash and Nape are doing inside of this. Um, let's take a look at that right now. Um, let's turn debugging on and rerun it. So uh, what we have here, oh, I, uh, I can't see my cursor, but uh, here in the, maybe if I just kind of motion, <laughs> you guys can see, here in the upper left, we have this debug um, drawing. Uh, Nape will render out the basic shapes and whatnot uh, running in the physics engine. Um, and actually, as you can see, our ship is actually a circle and we have some invisible walls on the outside of the screen to keep us from flying out and um, so yeah right now Flixel is rendering the graphics of uh, our ship and our background um, and Nape is handling all the movement and collisions and stuff so uh, let's learn how to use this um, but first Let's get the software needed to make something like this. Um, also, I would like to add that uh, this first episode, episode zero, uh, will be very basic things, just getting the environment set up and uh, downloading everything that you need to make uh, Flash games, all for free, which is cool. Um, so if you just want to get to the programming, you can probably skip this and go to the next episode. Uh, episode one, I think I'll be numbering it, whereas this will be episode zero and maybe in a few chunks. But uh, let's get to it. 